obviously I got into this business because I enjoy football. I still enjoy football. This job is more than just football. I don't think a lot of times people realize the time demands on, on uh, what Coach Friedgen has to do. You're a father, you're a teacher. Head coach, head recruiter. You're a disciplinarian. For all the recruiting that goes on and just being the face of the program. You wear a lot of different hats. A to Z, the head coach has got to do it. It's unbelievable. I'm the CEO. I'm, I'm, I'm the head of this whole operation. Good to see everybody again. It was a very big game for us in our season. Uh, we're very excited that we were, uh, were able to win the game. So what's the mood among the, the, the locker room? His fundamental core is strategy, is X and O, game planning, scheming up, and that's where his true passion lies. But in this day and age, you do have to be a fundraiser, you have to be a cheerleader, you have to be on the front lines um, building your program. And a very special good evening and happy to have you along with us tonight at our Terrapin Sports Network stations all around the state of Maryland. And welcome to the Ralph Region Outback Steakhouse Coaches Show. I think it's kind of a diversion for Ralph yeah, from you. coaching. Partly it's in my contract. A different team, and that's why you know I want to see them do well because they have done everything I've asked them to do. You know, there's a lot of coaches that have been at this job that haven't been successful and are no longer here. So. Um, it is what it is. If you aren't available to your constituents, if you're not, uh, if, if people can't get to you and ask you questions and pat you on the back. Please be Florida State, State for me. I hate Florida State. Or ask you why you're not, uh, then you're going to be, you know, held accountable. Two years later, you beat them again. I think that somewhere along the line, it became mandated that if a football coach spent 18 hours a day devoted to what he was doing. He's in here from 5 or 6 in the morning till, till 11 o'clock at night. We've been playing very well. We've had a good season. We have a chance to have a great season. Listen, guys make seven figures, and the schools are going to make sure that they get that they're going to get that piece out of them. We've been married 37 plus years. We've known each other for 39 years. In actual time that we've been together, it's probably been about six, seven years. It's the reason I'm married 37 years, because I'm never home. He's a tireless worker, and uh, never seems to have a down moment at all. That's become almost accepted that during the season you become a one tr have a one-track mind devoted to this. You know, I've been coaching 43 years, so I have a little experience at this. TV, conference call, about 12.45. See, he's a seasoned veteran, so uh, he knows what he's doing. It's not possible, you know, uh, without everybody working together. <laughs> Full day, that is. Full day, I know. <laughs> After last season, we went 2-10 and 10 and, you know, Everybody thought I forgot how to coach. I, I know a lot's on everyone's plate, maybe more so now than ever, but to say that it takes away from his ability to coach. Look, recruiting matters, like the, the next wave of kids matter, but not as much as the kids who are here now that are going to play Saturday night. I enjoy the interaction with the players. I like winning. I like graduating players. Let's go! You do what you have to do in order to be successful.